Oh man, it took me so long to get this thing. Seriously, I've been trying to get this kit for like two years? Well, let's see if it was worth the wait, I guess. Hello and welcome back to another Gunpla review. Today we're taking a look at the high grade Universal Sentry DJ. Alright, and starting off as always with the articulation, the head is on a sort of look well, technically it's on a barbell joint, but honestly it's it's so deep set you're pretty much just getting a rotation. A little tiny bit of forward back and you can turn it about that far. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to recommend right now, glue these into the head. <laughs> if you move it any more than that, and they just immediately pop out. Shoulders are on the slide-out, hingy thingies that... They never work very well when they're made out of plastic, but... Can technically... Yeah, there we go. They can come out and hinge forward, and can hinge up. Does it a lot better than the Zeta Revive, at least. On a ball joint besides that, as well as the hinge in the shoulder itself. This one gets up out of the way completely. This one less so, just because of the shield. This sort of tiny shoulder shield is on a hinge. This is on a ball joint. This is on a separate ball joint. And there's a little bit of a hinge in there, but you're not getting much out of it. There is a bicep rotation, as well as a double jointed elbow for pretty much full bend. And the hands, as always, are on a ball joint. Quickly want to point out that there's a uh, double ball joint set up for this. This is ball jointed onto the back, and this is ball jointed onto this. The waist is a whole whack of ball joints. The cockpit hatch is actually a separate ball joint attached onto this piece. So you pretty much can move the torso however much you want, though you probably want to keep that still in there, but still, that's, that's pretty crazy. It's a nice hinge front and back as well. That's really the only problem, is this does come out, but it doesn't impede the articulation at all. There's actually four front skirts, which is ridiculous. These top two sections are ball jointed in, and then the bottom sections are also ball jointed in below that, so it has a nice scaling effect, where it can get completely out of the way without looking bad. Side skirts are on the usual poly cap in there, they can move out of the way a little bit if you need to. Back skirt's solid, obviously. Hips are on the usual sort of slight rocking side to side, but it's very slight on this one. Universal joint besides that can get enough of a bend-ish. I mean, with this front skirt, can't really expect more than that. Uh, universal joint, nothing else in the way there. There are pipes coming down, but they're very rubbery. They're the same as the neck, so no trouble getting a full bend there doesn't look the best here when you do bend it all the way, but it does get out of the way at least. This can move up out of the way for further front movement. Aside from that, the ankles are completely normal and don't have a ton of range. It's almost none to the back. But... So overall, the articulation's excellent, though maybe it has a little too much articulation because it's kind of hard to keep everything together. Alright, starting off with the accessories, let's start off, as always, with the sticker sheet and by extension color correction. I've used the mono eye sticker, but you do get two. Technically, that's because you get an extra part, but uh, you can't really easily swap them, so... I'm going to assume that's a spare. Aside from that, you do get the camera for the rifle, the little triangle here on the shoulder, See, that reminds me, I completely forgot to put that on the rifle. I will cut away in a moment to do that. And these two are just the lines here on the shoulder. Otherwise, there is a little bit of paint you need to do on this, but it's not crazy. Uh, it's pretty much the black on the inside of these vents on the back here. Black on the inside of this vent, and the one on the side here underneath these, though that's not super necessary. I think it just adds a little bit extra shadow there, and it looks nice. And the gray here on the feet, which honestly isn't super noticeable, but it is supposed to be there. Aside from that, the only other paint is on the proper accessories, is the, well, let's we'll start off with beam rifle, and you can see I just put the sticker there. 
the uh, the blue and the yellow need to be painted. This is exactly the same as the Hyakushiki's rifle. And I managed to color match mine pretty much perfectly, which is nice. It does have a unique trigger finger hand, though there's nowhere for it to store, so you might as well leave it on it to get two holding hands. And then an open displayed hand, which is nice. Aside from that, you do get the clay bazooka, because it's on the same runner as the beam rifle. Absolute pain in the ass to get this out. But it does come out. It can store on these clips on the back here, which is my preferred method. But you also do get this piece, which plugs into this shield here. And flies off to the ether if you're not careful. And this literally just clips on <laughs> just, just here. It just lets you mount this onto the shoulder like this. And it, it looks stupid. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Finally, you do get the beam naginata, which just clips onto the back here. And you can just hold it in one or both the uh, the holding hands. You do get unique beam effects for it, which is nice. And yeah, these are unique, and they're not the same as the ones that come on the runner for the regular Gelgoog. They're actually their own unique runner, meaning they could totally use these for a lot of other kits, and they just don't. And finally, you get one option part, which I mentioned earlier, which is an alternate eyepiece. I went with the one that has the Gundam eyes molded in. This is the one without it. Honestly, it's so small, I don't know why you'd even bother using this one, because you might as well have that little extra detail in there. But seriously, this this is a tiny piece. As for a quick size comparison, the DJ is... Um, not, not super tall, honestly. Uh, it's kind of stocky, if anything. So, to wrap this review up, this is a really good kit. Very minimal color correction, the hoses are done perfectly, the articulation's great, and the DJ is just a really cool design. I honestly can't imagine they can improve on this, this is pretty much perfect. If you like the DJ at all, feel free to pick this up, you will not be disappointed. And that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be alerted for future reviews. Come chill in the Discord. Follow me on Twitter, if that's even still around. And consider supporting me on Patreon, so I can keep bringing you videos like this. And, as always, until next time, happy building.